hi to Chaco. Death Knight here for Lucifer. He starts by killing an apprentice wizard. Wow, Lucifer is so mean, but that's why he went for the Death Knight, because he's a mean guy. He goes for little wizards at first, for little apprentice wizards. They're still young. They're only 17 year old, and uh, here comes Lucifer, and he's just killing them. With his Death Knight, with his Frostmourne, with the skeletons. Now he's going for these little kobolds. These kobolds have been living here for centuries. They have good, uh, they have a, they're uh, well liked by the late by the neighbors. They take care of their lands. They have a little tunnel here where they work. They work hard in the mines, but no, Lucifer shows up and he's just killing them all. And now he goes uh, to the next camp, of course. Where uh, there's more innocent, innocent uh, guys just standing, hanging around, just you know, protecting. Uh, you know, they they found a gold mine and they're just camping the gold mine, thinking they can get the gold, but they didn't have a miner, so uh, they were waiting. But you know, the death knight just shows up, kills the wizard guy, doesn't even uh, negotiate mining this gold mine at all. Linehorn of Stormwind is of course a item. Not the item he wanted. Actually, he's got some pretty shitty item. Only the uh, only the mental of intelligence is super duper nice. Blade Master, he got the circlet, which is nice. Or maybe he bought the circlet actually. I have, I wasn't paying attention to the Blade Master. Oh, but here he gets the ring of protection. He steals the ring. Definitely got the XP. No, he didn't. Blade Master has got the XP. Okay, there goes skeleton. Death Knight is hiding. The Cloak of Shadows, sometimes useful. The Fiend retreating. After one attack, he already retreats. What? What a. What a fiend. That fiend. A player's forces are under one attack, and then he got scared. These grunts here fighting, killing another apprentice wizard. A little bandit guy also here being killed. Played Master going for a rogue wizard with his Grunty Punty. Kills the rogue wizard. <laughs> He's dead. 86 critical strike on this other wizard. Does he kill the last one? No, because he has frost armor. Look at that frost armor. It's so nice. Hello, Chaco. Uh, well, woke up with sunlight. Not really, because I couldn't figure out how to set up the alarm. So in the end, it didn't go off. Now. This morning I did uh, look in the manual, so <laughs> for tomorrow I will be able to set the uh, the light alarm. Here comes the death knight with some skeletons. This wither taking a lot of damage. There's a coil. He's dead now. The second lion horn of stormwind. Well, how many lion horn of stormwinds does he need? And what does he even do with them? Oh, Blade Master is there's nothing there left. Nothing left there. Death Knight going for another apprentice wizard. Now a rogue wizard. This rogue wizard. Oh, frost armor, nice. Oh, the Death Knight. Now he knows how it feels to be uh, hit or you know hitting a unit with frost armor. Here comes the Blade Master. Can he force a TP? Easy peasy. Have you tried it with a mobile app before? It could be there's a good app for that. I, I wouldn't think there would be enough light in a phone. The alarm clock I bought was uh, about a really expensive one that had like a lot of light. Just like the sun. It it's very bright. The blade man has the death knight here with the lich just killing all these creeps. Death knight now level three. Lich is still level one. Your Shirai is so beautiful. He has 40% damage reduction. Eleven point two armor. Okay, well, this is quite beautiful 
Oh, um, Lucifer purposely hasn't grabbed that yet. So it's a bit harder to get sappers in his base. Meanwhile, Lucifer going for a little Cobalt Geomancer. He's dead. What is he buying here? He's killing mud golems. Two mud golems down. Uh, the Blade Master, he wants his item. And he gets it easy peasy. That was the easiest steal in his life. I'm not sure why Lucifer didn't think about there being a Blade Master. The Death Knight wasn't even close to next to the creep. He was just all the way he was all the way, all the way here when the when the blade master killed the creep so no contest there for uh, the blade master if you sleep but it detects your movement when your phone is beside your bed you set an interval on what you want to wake up like between 9 and 11 and when it detects you are moving in that interval it goes off it helped me a lot waking up earlier the fact as soon as you move you are not in the deep sleep phase okay oh the blade master kills a little cobalt we have five fiends here and a death knife Sounds pretty cool because I, I'm like I'm like really lazy like sometimes I wake up early and I just go back to sleep <laughs> oh we have a pit lord here pit lord here for Lucifer there's a destroyer little golem goes down blade master what can he do blade master going for this uh, statue Statue taking so much damage. And uh, does he use... Yes, he used the whole half terror. There's no web here. There's uh, some damage here. Done on the wyvern. The, the lich with the destroyer kills the wyvern. Easy peasy. Uh, there goes a, a grunt. This, oh, this uh, fiend underground is still dying though. Oh no, coil saves it. Blade master, what is he going for? For the destroyer. Is there another coil for the destroyer? Uh, no, that one is too late. But there goes another grunt. Uh, Pinga went for early expansion. I've been looking so much at Lucifer. I didn't realize Pinga went for this early expansion. That's why his army is so big and it's just spaghetti. That's what it is. And that's why Lucifer uh, took his opportunity. Get the Pit Lord, get Brutalus and attack immediately. There's another half terror. These grunts, these blade masters, no one does any damage now. And Kodo uh, tries to eat a fiend. But oh, he gets a fiend. So delicious, so nice. Fiend here underground, maybe uh, there's no mana for coil. Uh, now he has another coil. Uses the dust. The blade master going. For, can he defend? It seems like he might be able to defend here. Even against Brutalus, the, the pit lord. Because uh, there's no mana potion here for Lucifer. Oh, he did send two ghouls here to the, goal, uh, to the peon line. That is pretty nice. That's really nice. There's a Kodo. There's more Grunts. And Headhunters. Let's see if we can defend here. Oh, these peons are fighting. <laughs> oh my god. These peons are so... so. Uh, they are true orcs. Dust. Blade Masters. Be careful. There's another healing wave. It's level 2 healing wave. And he has so much mana. Shadowhunter is a greater mana potion. If the Shadowhunter doesn't die here... I think uh, it should be easy to defend here for Pinga. This expansion will stay up. And uh, the Fiend. Okay, now the Fiend. This might go back in time. There's a nice stomp as well. And this ghoul. This ghoul is going to die. Lucifer is going to lose this game effect. He has one more coil. Uses it on the Pit Lord. Blade Mask going for a statue. The statue does go down. The Blade Mask. Death Knight is a little chicken. And, you know, Fiend here is underground, he's dead. Death Knight, he's beautiful, 180 critical strike. This Grunt, he kills the Grunt though. The Death Knight has a healing potion and then speed info potion, but uh, doesn't use it, he just GG's. Hello Acolyte, this Acolyte builds a Tomb of Relics. There's a cool here by Lucifer. 
Pinga in the blue. Close position. Close position. Let's see if Pinga goes for the second burrow. First a shop. But maybe afterwards he might go for the second burrow. If he doesn't, you know, he would lose to Sheik. But he's not playing against Sheik. He's playing against Lucifer. Lucifer might just go creeping instead of uh, attacking and cancelling burrows with the death knight and two ghouls and the fiend. There's the blade master. Taste of my blade. Blade master and the grunt. They're going. Are they going for this creep camp? Um, maybe. But the grunt. What's the grunt doing? You don't need the grunt if you creep this on this side. On this side, sure. On this side, no. But you could use a grunt, I guess. Yeah, could use the grunt. Just to speed up the process a little bit. Hi, Chaco. Hello, Lucas. 88 PL. Look at this Blade Master and this grunt killing this Ogre Magi. It is so dead. Ah. And the Blade Master picks up some nice items. Parry up. Meh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's alright. I mean, not really the item you want. Uh, especially not the first item you get. But it's uh, it's decent late game. Now it's going for the oh, Lucifer is playing aggressively. Let's see if this this burrow was uh, was it too early? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I think this burrow. Well, I mean, it's not on time, but don't know when it was built. Uh, this this fiend takes a lot of damage. There's a hit, very low hit point. Blade Master. Nice corner there on the fiend. He's blocking the grunt. The grunt is taking so much damage. The grunt. Uh oh. He is. He just wants to leave. Let him leave Lucifer. He's innocent. Oh, oh. The grunt does die. The blade master is healing. A player's forces are under attack. Um, he say. I mean, he say Pinga. Where is your burrow? There it is. Death Knight gets a nice mantle of intelligence, killing some innocent turtles. Oh, the Blade Master got the, la got the last hit, but he did lose his uh, healing self and his clarity. I mean, his clarity. Wait, did he use the clarity? His clarity must have been almost done already. I'm not sure if he used the clarity there. His healing self got cancelled. And Death Knight is just, uh, just chilling, you know, the, sc the scouting. Right, this uh, this skeleton doing a great job over here harassing the peons. No one realizes there's skeletons here. I, I mean, I realize. Of course, you you guys do. The pinga. Okay, now he realizes. Skeletons taking out the peon. <laughs> oh, the blade master going for a fiend. The Death Knight wants a level 2. If he gets a turtle, he will be level 2. And there it is. This fiend is now moving so super duper fast. And this fiend as well, of course. There's a coil on this fiend. This fiend on the blight. There's a Nerubian tower, so the grunt can't do anything. The blade master also, you know, is trying to get fiends. Can he get this fiend? No, right? No. And Lucifer is just getting a turtle for free. Speed scroll out of there. Wow. Innocent grunt, such a thing does not exist. Wait, what? Yes, it does. A grunt that has never done any crimes. Oh, the Blade Master in a little bit of trouble. The coil is just level 1. There is mana maybe in a little bit. I mean, the Blade Master went down to 93 hit points. So even if there was a coil, he would still be at 23 hit points. So he Oh, there was a burrow. Nice position on the burrow there by Pinga. He can also burrow creep now with his burrow. Put some peons in the burrow, wake up the creeps, lure them over here, and creep with your burrow. This uh, skeleton, go for this burrow. You will lose fur. Look at these items. This lich already plus 12 damage, plus 6 intelligence. Where is he? There he is. He will be here in a moment. Oh, meanwhile, the house of the dead building an acolyte. Is he going for an expansion? I doubt it. Do they see each other? A are under do they see each other? Now they do. 
But the Death Knight gets uh, the level 5. Koyos, the, uh, this fiend, but this fiend is in trouble. The Death Knight is a little animal. He's gonna lose probably two fiends. And uh, I'm not even sure if the Death Knight will come out alive. I mean, he did get an Claws of Attack plus 9, though. Oh, and then the third fiend. Are you kidding me? Lucifer, who is so far ahead. With the worst timed creepjack in the world. Loses so much here. Oh, his fiends are little animals. This fiend is also going to uh, die, of course. So there's four dead fiends here. Four dead fiends. Blade Master gets away easy peasy. Four dead fiends for this clause of attack plus nine. Every grunt is corrupted by the fell since birth. Even if they're corrupted by the fell, I don't know what it means, but uh, they can still be innocent. I think Lucy got this, Kappa. Four fiends. Is he still in this game? He's definitely still in this game. He had such a good opening, but now he's behind. Now he's like now he's losing. The Death Knight almost level three. Blade Master level two. Shadow Hunter level one. The Lich has these super items, so. You know, there is a small chance still here for Lucifer. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if it's a super item or a shitty one. Uh, Hood of Cunning. Okay, that's a shitty one. So Lucifer still in this game. Uh, Blade Master. Don't lose your Blade Master to creeps. Don't lose your Wyvern to creeps. Good job, Ping. Eh? Not losing anything to creeps. Uh, Blade Master did uh, try to use healing self, but it got cancelled. All these ogres are dying. Okay, Ping. Eh? Creeps it without losing a Blade Master. Nice job. Good job. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He has a level 2 Shadow Hunter now. Level 3 Blade Master. The skeleton scouts it. What do we get here for Lucifer? Does he get a better one? Does he get... He gets a Tome of XP and he gets a shittier one even. He gets the Crystal Ball. The Tome of XP was nice though. And uh, meanwhile the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. Going for some Innocent Turtles. Or are these turtles also not innocent? Are these also turtles corrupted by the fell? Blade Master, he's taking some damage. There's the turtles, you know, they're pretty fierce. There's a TRTC. This turtle does fall. What item do we get? This item decides so much. Potion of Invo. Okay, that's pretty good. Lucifer getting more fiends, getting more statues. Yeah, look, he has four fiends again. They can be killed again if he gets uh, creep checked. A player's oh, the Lich now plus 26 damage though. Hello, Lich. Hello. I wonder if Lucifer can fight here. He's nine supply down. But he has that orb now. Okay, it seems like... Uh, Pinga doesn't think Lucifer can fight. Pinga goes for the fight. Lucifer just goes for the retreat. Oh, so much damage here on this TC. One shot. One time a huge amount of damage. This uh, head hunter, you know, he's also taking so much damage. He's dead, guys. That's just a dead head hunter. Just for free. Just to uh, make up for those four fiends that died earlier. He gives them a head hunter. Lucifer is beautiful. His Death Knight is so close to level 4. I wonder if he's going to pick Death Pact. Did he get Web? He does have Web. He's Fiend in trouble. Does he buy a hero? He buys a Dark Ranger. And uh, this Fiend, you know, he's dead. But the TC is also dead. And the Lich, you know, might goes back a little bit. Blade Master takes a lot of damage. Hello, Blade Master used the Info Potion or something. Or, yeah, there it is. Koto's still alive. The Death Knight, did he pick Death Pact? He did. He eats a fiend. It's pretty tasty. It tastes like ice cream. These grunts here taking a lot of damage. Uh, the the Wyvern gets away, which is uh, always interesting because there is web. 
And this grunt, uh, he's dead. Let's end this game. Pretty much back to uh, this Lucifer's game again. Level 4 Death Knight, level 2 Lich, and level 1 Dark Ranger. This, this Lich is gonna be level 3 here in a moment. The Shadowhunter creeping up. The code is beautiful. So beautiful. TC no stomp. He, uh, he has stomp. He didn't stomp. Oh, apparently he stomped once. Someone in my chat saw it. Oh, this fiend, hello! Oh, there are the other fiends. Uh, this is trouble for Pinga. There's a stomp. Did you like it, Aquarius? He hit the Death Knight. This Kodo is dead. A lich, the Shadowhunter is dead. The... You know, the Grunts are dead. The TC is dead. This game is over. This game is over. Graveyard going up, Tomb of Relics going up, Death Knight going up. Blade Master going up, Peon, this Peon, hello Peon. There's a, a Grunt going up. Beautiful game so far. I wonder who's gonna win the other semifinals. Let's see. The other one is gonna be Focus vs. Romantic. Well, no matter what, I kinda want Lucifer to win, you know? I mean, there's a 50% chance that Focus wins the other uh, semifinals, and I don't wanna watch an Org Mirror in the finals. Uh, that's reason one. Reason two is that, uh, you know, Lucifer is amazing. I love Lucifer. And uh, reason three is Pinga. You know, should I should I root for Pinga because he's like new new player, a player that hasn't really achieved anything yet? Maybe I should be rooting for Pinga, just to get some new new blood into the scene. Pinga is at the shop. Goes for a circle. It doesn't even matter who I root for because it doesn't change who's gonna win, guys. The Blade Master going for this Berserker. This Berserker is going down. Is ping a PCG123? No. Uh, hi, all. Oh, damn, I missed two matches. Okay. Wayne. Romantic and focus after this. Yes. Romantic first focus after this. Oh, hello, Acolyte. Acolyte is going down. You see, Anta is rooting for Pinga. And there goes the Acolyte. Probably because Anta beat Pinga on ladder. So then it's like, if Pinga is doing really well in tournaments, then he feels uh, really good about himself, of course. Skeleton. Then he's better than... Uh, than anyone in this tournament. That's how it works. Death Knight. He, he got a nice Scourge Bone Chimes. Kappa. Is Pinga happy? <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Pinga is happy. Yeah, sure. Kappa. A lot of Kappas here. Uh, these skeletons. Two skeletons at the Death Knight. There's one skeleton fell, fell apart. This grunt is going south. Skeleton is following him. Oh, they're fighting now. Oh no, they're not fighting. Okay. Oh, Blade Master is going for this creep camp. But Lucifer, you know, he won't let it happen. Lucifer. Look what Lucifer is doing. This guy. Oh, and the, the Blade Master will get it. Uh, was that the Ring of Protection? I believe so. Or was the Claws of Attack? I don't know. All I know is that he has one of each. Uh, what is that item good for if he goes fiends? Scourge Bone Chimes? It is uh, it's good for selling. That's what he did. Did I say it's good? I, I don't know. I was on uh, auto, auto talk. I wasn't really thinking. It's of course not that good if you're on that. But at least he got it so uh, so he could sell it. Blade Master is going for this one. Let's see if he gets a good one. <laughs> oh, he also gets a Scourge Bone Charge, but again, for Orc, it's also not the uh, the best one in this matchup. A 
Although it's, it's not a bad one. Has healing self? It's a really good one, but it's still like almost anything is really good here. In this matchup, uh, Orc versus Undead, as long, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you get. Like as your as an Orc, everything is good. Maybe a Flute is the worst. Uh, but even a Flute is useful late game. The Blade Master steals his replenishment potion, but is he gonna survive? There's level 2 coil. There is level 2 coil. Does he, uh, hello, bye bye. One hit point, are you kidding me? And Lucifer lets him go. He lets him go with one hit point. He's like, okay. I I showed you my dominance. I'll let you live. Hopefully you will return the favor later when my death knight is at one hit point. Maybe you'll let him live at one hit point. Okay, well, the death knight, he got some illusions. He has an illusion. He can cancel the healing self. Maybe not because uh, Blade Master uses a clarity and then... Uh, cl uh, how do you call it? A wind walk. Calculated Kappa. Uh, you have some fiends, uh, and there's a shadow hunter and a blade master. There's no death knight. Here comes the death knight with the lich. Oh, he has the sacrificial skull though. Was he uh, planning to do something fancy, like a tower rush or something? So everyone is doing just fine. Where did the shadow hunter go? Oh, there he is. Oh, and illusions and stuff. He is going for a tower rush. That only Lucifer knows how to do. This grunt, this ghoul blocking this grunt. This grunt is going down, guys. Beautiful blocking here by Lucifer. That's a dead grunt. Uh, ooh, ah. Is he going? He's going for the shop. Oh, the acolyte. Oh no, the acolyte. The acolyte takes the coil. Okay. Blade Master here for Pinga. He's going for... Uh, this ghoul takes so much damage, by the way, from the burrow. The Blade Master is going for this Acolyte, but the Acolyte is too fast for the Blade Master. Blade Master is going for a fake fiend, and the purge helps and kill him so fast with the critical strike as well. This fiend here block, uh, tanking three grunts. Maybe not what you want to do in your free time if you're a fiend. Uh, the Acolyte did go down. The Shadow Hunter sniped him. The three towers are going up. One fiend again. He's still alive. Is, is he upgrading burrow? He must have been, uh, or must be. No, he's not. Okay, never mind. There goes the fiend. Uh, this fiend also takes so much damage. Remember, there is Scourge Bone Chimes. So the grunts, they get so much hit points back. This fiend is running for his life, but he dies. The Shadow Hunter is surrounded, but... Uh, uh oh, this fiend, what is he up to? The fiend takes a coil. The Shadow Hunter heals himself. There's, he cannot kill the Shadow Hunter. He doesn't have the orb. The Lich, though, he's running. Lich is dead. Our Nerubian Tower going up. These fiends, they're not winning these fights. They're just dying to grunts. There goes another fiend. We have three fiends left though. It is maybe barely not enough uh, to do hold these towers the, that are going up. The, even the murlocs are trying to kill the towers now. It seems like Pinga has more allies than Lucifer. He has more friends. He has this baby murloc. Uh, there's no mana for coil, so another fiend does go down. The ghoul goes down. The two fiends, they do like nothing. They tickle the blade master a little bit. It's uh. You see him laughing when uh, I click on the Shadow Hunter, the Blade Master is laughing. The Nerubian Tower is, uh, I mean, it's up, but it's going down. These the Spirit Towers are up, though. Two Spirit Towers. And what does that mean? What what does that mean for this game? Uh, the Death Knight he is beautiful. And he GG's out. Okay, lose for GG's out. Pinga wins the semifinals.